welcome to Florida Fishy Finger, my YouTube channel where I tell you all about the boats I like. I also go on fishing adventures on my Ancona Shadowcast 16 all the time. In fact, we've got a whole bunch of videos coming up. This is part of a series called Ever Wonder What the Perfect Technical Polling Skiff Looks Like? I believe I own the perfect technical polling skiff for me. And of course, you will determine what the perfect technical polling skiff is for you. This class of boat is classic. It is a staple of fishing in Florida. It is a part of a culture, a way of life. It's simply wonderful. So today we're going to look at the another Ancona boat. And this was actually the competitor in my mind to I decided it was going to be Ancona some point probably after watching all those uh, real intense videos uh, that I talk about sometimes but anyway the the two options that I thought might be short enough to fit into my very small single car garage were the native SUV and the shadow cast but before we get into looking at the native SUV I'd like to point out that if you are looking at boats and you need a small loan, which can sometimes be problematic to get from a credit union, or you know, for me, the smallest loan I could get when I bought my boat was $5,000, but you can easily get them online. I leave links down in the description for this video where you can get to a place that will give you a $500 to $35,000 range loan if you qualify. So go ahead and contact them. That also supports the channel if you click on those links and go there. So that's how this all works <laughs> anyway so yeah for me it was down to the shadow cast and the native suv so let's look at the native suv and i you know we could go let's look at the native suv and now let's look at the shadow cast you know look at the difference between those two boats they're radically different radically different first you can see that the native suv is just a far more classic boat it just looks to me my opinion much more classic boat it's got that beautiful flare to the hull there in the front that you just know is going to eat up the chop and waves so nicely but yet it's flat through the back it's a thing of beauty i think the story and i'd rather have one of the people at ancona tell the story because i don't want to get it wrong but the story is they restored a hull that had been very popular as a previous line of boats uh, they restored this exact from the exact mold of that boat. It's just like a classic that endures and endures. It's kind of almost like a work of art. Now, when I went and looked at the Ancona boats at the factory, this boat just, oh, I wanted it so badly. It's definitely a level of complexity a little higher than my boat, but I really wanted it. But it was too wide, too wide. Uh, it's not that wide at all, but I just have a tiny space. So, um, but I also like the idea of, of a narrow, sleek boat. And so I ended up going with the shadow cast, you know, like I said, mine's a 16, this is an 18, but, uh, when I went and looked at these SUVs in the factory, they, they just looked like a much bigger space. I'm sure they're much, my guess would be, they'd be more stable, but, um, yeah, I would love to have one. In fact, at some point I might consider going to an SUV 14 or or figuring out some kind of better situation to store a boat because I wow it's a beauty as I look at it how's it possible to love the boat you have now so much but yet long for another isn't that always the case okay so let's take a look at what this thing has to offer two models 14 and 17 love that and you'll find as I found this is very easy to see what the boat is all about Oh, there it is. So they restored a classic 1960s Fibercraft design. Yeah, that alone is super cool. It's endured the test of time so good it was revived. And they lightened the, uh, yeah, the layup to reduce the draft. Yep, so lightness. Again, lightness. Always the lightness in these boats, and it makes them so appealing. They say it has a gently curved shear line. It sure does. Old and graceful, yeah. So just a classic boat chop eating bow oh maybe that was in my subconscious from reading this ad so many times before chop it does eat up the <laughs> the chop uh is yeah twin aft hatches ready to plumb 20 gallon live well Ooh. oh yes i'll get you some i'll get some kingfish in this thing 
We'll take it out of the port and slay it. Oh, look at this. 68 inch beam. Yeah, that's much bigger than the than the shadow cast. We'll compare with the shadow cast here after this. I didn't mean for this to be a comparison video, but I can't help but do it because it was the it is such a sweet boat in the same class. You have that 20 and 40 horse option. I've got the 20 on mine and love it. I've got a video actually on reviewing the engine here now that I've owned it for over almost three years. Uh, okay, the capacity of the weight. Look at how much the capacity of the weight goes up. Isn't that wild? 525 to 585. Oh, that's a lot. That's like a whole other person of weight, you know, depending on the person, I guess. Uh, but that's a lot. That's a lot of gear. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think the 17 is just a much more substantial sized boat. Do they, is it different in beam is my question. Both are 68 watt. Hmm. It's interesting. Wow, that makes the 17 so appealing to me. And then they list their prices. Again, shout out to Ancona for doing that. I, I wish all boat manufacturers would do that. Uh, it just makes it easy. Uh, you can see the hull only. You could get one of these and run it for 5595 for the 14. Wow. That's not too bad in my opinion uh, and then they give you the sample ready so for 10 7 you got a you got a technical pulling skiff the 20 horse and an aluminum trailer for 19 8 you get the 17 you see that's the appealing thing it's very affordable and you get the 40 horse e-tech i bet you it flies i wonder how fast it goes they can tell you all the information i don't have all of it but then you look at the pictures and you slowly but surely fall in love look at that it is so classic. Who, I say, internet, who among you would not love to have this boat? Is there anyone? As I watch it, I feel the tendency to want to betray my own beautiful Shadowcast, 6, Shadowcast 16, which sits only feet away from me in my garage. Look at that with the with the platform on the front oh that is epic the platform on the front you are unstoppable but even better if you get a trolling motor on the front of this thing wow yeah i bet you it's pretty stable for, even for how small it is uh, and i i love that live well i actually like it in the back because how we would rig it with the seat to the side because how we would do it is i'm sure one person sitting down in that seat and plucking out the bait and just re-baiting hooks as you fish. So you team fish. That's the cool thing about these little boats is it really is about team fishing on these boats. If you have two people that are good at fishing, like my son and I, uh, you're good enough, let's say. I don't want to say I'm good at fishing, but good enough to catch fish. You can really get a system down pretty quick. and it, Yeah, you can still set up a system with it in the middle, but that's really, really cool looking. Okay, so, hey, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to Florida Fishy Finger. Uh, this is the second in a many-part series. As I get permission from boat manufacturers, I'll be reviewing their craft. And I'm actually working to set up a factory tour, a couple of factory tours, uh, which would be super cool. I've got two uh, manufacturers that are interested in letting me do that, where I kind of go in there and vlog and and I love it. I find it incredibly interesting, and I thought you would too. So if you do, hey, go ahead and leave some comments and give me your feedback because I'd like to know what you're interested in in the area of boats. Certainly, I love it. I could talk about it forever. So thanks for being part of the Florida Fishy Finger community. Uh, go check out some of my videos too. Recently, I, I got one of a, a color change event where there were like 30 sharks feeding and kingfish and tarpon, giant 100-pound tarpon, feeding right along the beach uh, recently, summer, September in Florida. So lots of videos like that coming out all the time. Also these boat videos and my fishing adventures. Getting ready to head back out into the river, do some local, uh, learn how to fish the place you live. In other words, uh, and I'm, I'm also uh, looking to do some challenges with some other uh, boat Florida fishing channels that I like a lot to see if we could do some, some collaboration like maybe, you know, name a species and give a certain amount of time and see if you can go out and get it that type of thing so let me know what you think thanks for watching florida fishy finger i appreciate it turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified as new videos come out they're coming out all the time thanks for watching florida fishing